The half-orc and Goliath have the same stat modifiers in Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. The half-orc is described in the player's handbook. The half-orc has a strength modifier of plus two and a constitution modifier of plus one. The Goliath is described in Volo's Guide. It also has a strength modifier of plus two and a constitution of plus one. So what are the differences? Well, the half-orc actually gets a little odd in its description of height because there's two contradictory statements in the player's handbook about the height of the half-orc. But I'll go with the height of the half-orc is between, somewhere between six feet and seven feet tall and the height of the Goliath is somewhere between seven and eight feet tall. The half-orc weighs between 180 and 250 pounds, and the Goliath weighs between 280 and 340 pounds. So there's a size difference, but both of them call it, come under medium. They don't come under large. So they're not classified as giants. So what are the advantages of the two different classes? Well, half-orcs have dark vision. They also have intimidation, uh, relentless endurance, and savage attack. The Goliath, on the other hand, has athletics, stones endurance, and they're mountain born. Well, okay, let's take a look at this. Unless you're playing in a campaign at high altitude or with thin atmosphere, the mountain-born advantage is probably not going to be that useful, except in very special situations. The Stone's Endurance gives you more healing than the Relentless Endurance, but they both are very similar in concept. But in general, for a normal campaign, if, you've got, if you're going into dungeons, if you're doing things like that, I think the dark vision makes the half orc a better choice for a character. Besides, if you're going into dungeons and such, then height of seven to eight feet could be a problem. If your dungeon master is nefarious and does things like make dungeons with only four, four, four or five foot high corridors, which I have done, then <laughs> it makes it hard for a Goliath to get through that because they would have a, they're much more stocky. So the half-orc, to me, sounds like the better choice if you're looking at this kind of character because they're very similar. There's hardly enough distinction between the two of them for them to both exist. I think the Goliath really doesn't exist unless you're really into playing a Goliath as opposed to a half-orc. A half-orc sounds like the better of the two characters to me. I'd love to hear your comments on this. Thank you. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate both forms of feedback. If you're new here and would like to subscribe, you can click on the icon on the left. If you're interested, there's more content on the right.